Just a bit of a warning. Um, I woke up this morning with a notification on my mobile phone. First thing I want to say is make sure you link your PayPal account to an email that goes straight to your phone. Because uh, then if you do get hacked, then you're going to get an instant response as soon as money leaves your account. So this morning, I woke to find 350 euros has gone out of my account. But the interesting thing is, the reason I've scrubbed all the information out is A, it's a pending issue. But also, I can't even see what they were actually buying off that website. Because they do gaming hacks, which makes me think that it's a bit more... Um, one-sided, should we say, in the fact that I think they're transacted to themselves. Um, purely because the products, they either they're doing something they shouldn't be doing or they're not selling a product at, at all. The joke in all this was even on their invoicing, it says no refunds as if like I'm going to go, oh, they put that, that I won't get my money back. They've stolen the money in the first place. But the reason I'm bringing this up this morning is this sort of stuff is going on more and more. Um, but also if you're an expat and relying on YouTube, uh, PayPal earnings, um, get yourself a union bank account. The reason being is it doesn't get an overdraft. So they can't empty your account. They can only empty what's in your PayPal. Secondly, don't let yourself run up too much on your PayPal. Um, this money is part of next month's rent etc so as such i don't need it for the next 30 days so i can quite happily wait for paypal to recover my money but i know some other people are a bit more hand to mouth so i would say try and get yourself a month ahead so if something does happen you're not going to be in a situation where you can't afford to pay your rent or or in something else that you basically can't cover your costs um, try and get a month ahead, you know, put $50 a month up or whatever until you hit your budget and then just keep that safe in a bank account somewhere. Um, but yeah, I've had a lot more emails trying to fish for information out of me. Um, they send these links which are like, oh, you've got an invoice for this. We tried to deliver your parcel today. Please open this link. And, you know, they're, they're selling, sending a lot of um, links which have got malware and stuff in them. I haven't actually opened these so I'm only assuming um, this has actually been done by somebody in the Philippines uh, because for the last two months somebody's been trying to hack my account. How do I know? Because PayPal says you've tried to log in from Manila um, and obviously I'm going no I haven't and then the next one I got is you tried to log in from Mexico and <laughs> I'm like so they obviously tried Manila first, got it blocked there, and then tried from Mexico through a VPN. Um, and it, PayPal notifies me if it's not done in the done in Spain, because um, I actually made uh, PayPal aware I was in Spain because they actually asked me to verify where I was with my passport and other information. So it's not a case of simply just log in and you can steal my money. You need to do it via a transaction because obviously the transaction will not log where I was because obviously it's going through a third party, which is what they've done this time. Some people are putting a lot of effort in trying to steal my money. Um, if you put this much effort into stealing, you might be better off putting this much effort into getting a job or actually doing something constructive because this money will be recovered. So you haven't actually stolen from me because I'll recover mine. But if you did steal from somebody else with digital products, then you've stolen their money, not mine. But it's very sad that some people have to stoop this low um, because that website is game hacks. I mean, unless you're actually looking to steal as much stuff off them as possible um, so that you can actually set up a game hack website with all the stuff you've stolen from them I'm not sure what you're actually doing um, I think it's maybe more somebody has stolen it within the website and just trying to get the money um, but with PayPal they'll refund it anyway because yeah, I mean it's pretty obvious as a fraudulent transaction I can't even see what product they would actually be selling for 350 euros anyway thanks for watching I just want to make people aware don't click on things on your if you're not sure what it is, you get an email saying open this link, whatever, delete it.
if, it, if it's important and it comes from somebody that you know, then they will contact you and say, did you see this picture? Did you open that zip file, etc.? They will tell you. Everything else, just ditch. Because nine times out of ten, it's phishing because they're trying to put malware on your system. Thanks for watching. Yeah.